Hey, what's up? Uh, hello. And welcome to another Science School. And of course, I'm here at my apartment right now. Sorry for the unwanted scenery of my kitchen slash computer corner slash my studio. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, I'm here to present you to my old computer, which is running right now perfectly fine what I expect supposed to be what I expect but uh, right now it is running fine because I'm using Linux so this is how I end up with fully boot Linux in my old laptop because this one is supposed to be using Windows 7 and eventually I have some problems like slowing down things and uh, end up uh, being something like uh, not productive anymore even editing even uh, documents uh, a little bit like uh, having some problem already so that's why I switched to Linux and of course my day-to-day -day Linux operating system is always with the Debian edition of of Pop OS under the I think yeah under the Ubuntu uh, skin yeah so it was Debian then Ubuntu and right now it is Pop OS and of course you can see right here it is still my old laptop with the broken screen right here but of course if I am recording right now because I'm also recording right here in my desktop which is located my camera is over here which is somewhere in a corner uh, why should I pay like 5,000 baht to 7,000 baht that's equivalent to 8,000 pesos to I think around like 10,000 pesos and that's a thing that's a thing that I don't want to pay some OS not only that but also I won't pay for the license for the office right so that is why I am sticking to Linux and way back then I remember that one I have the first encounter of Linux way back then when it is mostly and basically in the form of terminal what is a terminal a terminal is this one this is the terminal so as you can see right here this is the terminal that I've been using and educated way back then like in the early two I don't know it's an early 2000 and late 1990s when my friends introduced me into this free world of Linux operating system and yes uh, that old and of course I was really surprised that you know uh, this operating system is basically like for free to use but uh, way back then you have to pay for the mailing and you are you are paying for the shipping pay for the mailing and shipping that is uh, and at the same time the the CD-ROM or the floppy disk or the the program itself uh, I remember that one um, when my friend uh, uh, let me play with its uh, computer which is running in Linux with the uh, Lotus 123 <laughs> yeah I remember that one the word processor 123 and and I remember that uh, uh, having some problems because I want to customize my my windows at the same time that that was way back like uh, 
Windows 3.11, yeah, 3.11 and 3 and Windows 95. It was really like, mm, I want to have this customized, but no, it won't happen. <laughs> you having a hard time because there are a lot of virus at the time and the internet connection was really sluggish at the time we only have like 24 kilobytes per second that is really slow and you have to connect through the internet like the dial up connection no no long hair is one of the uh, friend and the special you know friend that is capable of doing some internet stuff at the time uh, and of course uh, until now we're, we're good friends uh, we are are still uh, connected with our uh, internet and of course it is not the old ones you that you are doing the MRICA or the uh, friendster <laughs> right now we are doing it on uh, Facebook so yeah so that's the whole thing that I have this uh, group of friends who are really uh, into Linux at the time and and I remember uh, one of my boss one of my f close friend and one of my colleague, uh, Darwin, Darwin Pizia, <laughs> uh, is one of the person who also installed the Linux in their computer on the government agency. He is one of the Linux uh, user in a government agency. Of course, uh, don't forget with uh, Sir Francis, Sir Francis the Red Hat. <laughs> yeah, so we're all into this, you know, uh, Linux world. And yep, that's basically my history. Uh, why do I have this Linux background before I was dual booting with Windows 7 or Windows, yeah, Windows XP and Windows 7. Uh, I have the old laptop, I remember that one, the old uh, Windows XP. Uh, I dual boot it with, I forgot what, what was the, the Linux distro. Because I think during that time Darwin has the uh, Ubuntu or Kali. I can't remember. I think that was Ubuntu. Ah, just PM me or just comment me uh, down below, okay? That. <laughs> I can't remember actually. I can't remember what kind of, of distro that you are using at that time, but I know it was Linux. And uh, also, uh, one of the person who also play with the Linux but not installing Linux, uh, also Ice. Ice, Aisila. Uh, she also works on the government uh, way back then, but of course, uh, there are few people who are in the city of Iloilo in the Philippines who are using Linux. That's why I'm one of them who is, before I was quiet at the time. Uh, because of the ecosystem, which is majority of our friends are using uh, Windows, but uh, some of us are using Linux at the time already, uh, like the Red Hat, the Ubuntu, the Kali, uh, even the Android, the, the you know, the, the, the old ones. Uh, I can't remember, uh, yeah, because I remember even Neil, yeah, Sir Neil, uh, I don't know where he is right now. Sir Neil, uh, where are you right now? Are you still in San Agustin, in Iloilo, in computer engineering? I don't know, where are you right now? <laughs> Give me a hint, man. Uh, if you, where were you right now? Uh, of course, uh, 
uh, I haven't heard you for how many years already? Uh, yep. Uh, tell me about this one. Uh, this is what I have encountered. That's why I was hooked into this uh, Linux uh, community. So that is why I still enjoying this Linux uh, operating system for free. Nothing to pay, nothing to be scared of because uh, it's absolutely for free. I'm absolutely for free for 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 uh, changing the background, changing the atmosphere, changing the the theme without the problem of of uh, having the virus, <laughs> having the virus on my computer. Right now, I was just like, yeah, chill. That's why. 97% or 100% already uh, are using Linux in their server, including Facebook, uh, even Google. That's why they have the Google Chrome, Chrome OS, which is actually uh, Linux kernel based on Linux kernel. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Even uh, Android. Android are actually based on Linux uh, kernel too. So basically there are, we're using actually, can I say this one that the world is run by Linux but you haven't just noticed it. Even cars. Did you know that even cars, our cars are running in Linux. Uh, especially the computer box. It is running in Linux. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember the uh, even the smart TVs. The smart TVs that we are using is actually Linux. I was surprised, uh, especially the 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 original ones, the original ones, the the first generation of smart TV. They are using Linux actually. Uh, yeah, it comes to think of it, that we are using Linux and we haven't just noticed it. So anyway, uh, let me try to this uh, so-called environment. Let's introduce you to Linux as the daily operating system that I have, which is even teaching in my class, uh, teaching through online, teaching through offline, which is the personal uh, or face-to-face or I don't know, it is on-site teaching. I use this old laptop, which is a brick. It is an old-fashioned computer that I have, I think this is way back 2014 or, yeah, probably 2014. Oh, by the way, if you are asking me what kind of model that I have, I have the HP 15, which is, I think, 2014, I don't know, uh, maybe that kind of year ish <laughs> year yeah I don't know what kind of year is this one probably it's 2014 or maybe 2013 or more yeah probably 2014 because I remember 2011 I still have the Windows XP uh, laptop which is I think it is HP HP yeah I think it's also HP it was one of the oldest uh, laptop. Those were the days. <laughs> and of course, that was uh, also using some of the Linux stuff, which is I'm dual booting at the time. So it's really hard uh, to install at the time. So, but it was really cool. It was fast. It was cool. But of course, almost everybody, uh, uh, because of the internet connection, is not really very good at the time, and I have a hard time to downloading some of the stuff. But right now, of course, the internet is connection. Uh, the internet connection is really better compared to the years before that we are run just running like one MB, or sometimes like five hundred ish something kilobytes per second. Right now, we are just an ordinary of five kilo, oh, five megabytes per second right now compared to to those times, <laughs> to those times. Yep. So anyway, 
I have a long introduction there. Maybe I'm just going to cut off some of this stuff right now. So anyway, I have this computer. Uh, basically, I have the camera, camera 1, camera 2, and camera 3. So, so I'm recording right now. Uh, and I'm plug it in. I'm in. I'm in AC mode or the alternating current mode, which is actually um, in plug it, plug in into the the power supply that I have. So, as you can see right now, uh, this is my desktop, and it is basically just you know just ordinary thing that every time that you turn on the computer you will just like uh, enter into this uh, desktop after you turn it on it will be like this uh, this is multiple boot so I won't let you see what multiple multiple boot that I have right now it's just only for this particular uh, desktop right now I'm using the pop OS Linux and that's why I already opened this and start recording already start recording so sorry if my camera is very not good because my camera actually is a really really old webcam it's basically uh, built in so this is the high tech during that time but right now hmm. oh so anyway let's go so as you can see uh, I'm here in my desktop and of course don't forget that one because I have the broken glasses I don't know if you could see that one yeah that that's the one that's the one so as you can see this is the terminal don't use it because you are new right here so let's not use the terminal let's use the pop shop so as you can see it opens basically and without a hitch even this is an old 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 computer uh, let me let you see what what I mean is an old old computer where is my setting okay there's my setting I want you to see the old computer that I have which is really old computer and I'll let you see with the about so that this is my about about of my computer or the the so-called system the system settings of my computer and of course I just customized my device name so that's my device name right now you can always change always because this is Linux you can always customize everything so as you can see this is my hardware in HP HP 15 notebook notebook PC with 12 gig actually I already upgraded this one so this upgrade was uh, I think this is originally like four gigabytes of no 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 eight gigabytes of of memory but I converted into twelve gig so this is already fast ridiculously fast for this type of computer which is an old computer and of course as you can see my processor is AMD A6 so this is Athlon six so come to think of it way back then this Athlon 6 was one of the fastest already and right now it is an old computer but of course this is year 2022-22 and I still use this one this is a heavy thing <laughs> it is a heavy thing so if you carry this one you better make it better have a muscle to 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 lift this one because it you can do it one hand but I don't know you might grow muscle right here how much kilos that I have okay I will just uh, let's explore this computer 
So this is uh, AMD A6 computer, which is very old, <laughs> with of course uh, five gigabytes of hard disk capacity, and of course uh, it is running uh, Pop OS twenty. 22.04 LTS that is long term support I could always uh, upgrade this one and using the Windows system of X Windows X11 mm, Windows X11 and it runs the GNOME version 42.2 okay enough with that so let's try this one. Uh, do I have other internet browser? No. Do I have enough other? Enough of this? No, I don't have. So I'll just use the other browser. So let's wait a little bit. Should I let you see? <laughs> oh, by the way, if you are uh, wondering what kind of uh, or where do I get this uh, beautiful uh, wallpaper, I'll introduce you to Nick. Nick Nazaro. Just go to the, their website, nicknazaro.com, and you have free stuff there for your devs, which is your you know visual developments uh, for free. And I'm using, I think this is the one that I'm using, right? No, <laughs> no. So, what kind? What kind of? desktop are you am I using oh there it is yeah there it is this is my desktop I just downloaded it. it's for free so no problem with it you can always download this one just go to nicknazaro.com peace for my friend my Twitter friend Nick Nazaro Uh, he is one of the so-called uh, well-renowned cartoon artist, visual artist in the TV series and movies. So let's go to Firefox. Let's try to check HP 15 computers. Uh, what year is HP 15 computers? So HP computers first released. First gen or first release. Yeah, oops, sorry. Let's uh, go to the right, because I zoom in. Okay, so the first computer of the HP 15 was way back in what year? It came out in 2000. Hmm? Oh, huh? No. Hmm. Let me see. So the HP. 15 first generation AMD A6 yeah that uh, that's the first generation what year what year So, 
let me see where is that no this is not good for h15 oh, what is my I want to see I want to see I want to see and uh, let you see the the computer that I have which is way back then right 5200 hmm. released Oh, announced 2018. No, it was not. Oh, this is 900. Oh, serious. Oh, no. So, which means my computer is way back then. So, as you can see, this is the release date of the AMD A6 922500 series which is way back in 2017-18 uh, and I have the AMD A6 5200 series which is probably earlier like year 2014-ish uh, so wow I have the old computer really an old computer but well it is stable right now so I don't have any issues with that one and of course as you can see I'm just using it normally like you know uh, like Windows like anyone else uh, I'm just using it just you know just an ordinary Windows that I have which is basically I love it I love it uh, when I using this one because it is really like you know an old computer which is running right now way back uh, I mean very good so that is why I'm sticking with Linux and that's why I love using Linux because it is really like uh, saving the life of my old laptop which is still going and really uh, doing its job it is not slowing me down because before I have the uh, the uh, Windows 7 at the time with this computer with this laptop it's really slow but right now I'm doing whatever I want I could play the internet I could uh, make editings like audio editing video I mean uh, image editing or making video right now which is the OBS uh, studio even Spotify and did you know that VLC is actually a native application of Linux so that's the thing and of course I'm using the uh, only office and LibreOffice for my office suit so I don't have any problems uh, in regards of uh, using my office like in PowerPoint in my uh, so-called uh, documents so let me see where did I where did I save my documents so just like an explorer oops so as you can see I have my directory right here so I have the desktop which is here it's empty but of course I could always go to my different uh, partitions and of course I'm using for example this is a disk this one, this two, this three, this four, this five, this seven. So I'll using the this three, which is Ubuntu. So let's open. And of course, this is no 
Windows. I'm not using Drive C, Drive A, Drive D, or ish something ish Drive ish. But of course, I'll just go to Windows uh, on the Home. Click there. Click here. And of course, I have all these documents right here. So I'll just go to my documents on the desktop. And of course, you can see my schedules, my activities for the students, uh, my school year of this year, 2022, even my ebooks, even my uh, PDF. So let's go to my computer. It's just a, you know, a JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. So let me see if where is that file. I think it is. Oh yeah, I remember. I put it on my. See. And all of the stuff right here. <laughs> so. Oh, let, let's go to the computer just like see I'm using the PowerPoint uh, but the PowerPoint file which is also can be opened through our online office only office so I'm opening it right now as you can see right here it's PTT PPTX PPTX and yes there it is. Uh, I could also play this one just like that. See, it's all good. It's all the same. So I would not explain this one because if I can explain this one, I, it would be a lesson. <laughs> So yeah. I don't know if you can see this one. Hmm. Okay. Enough with that one. So this is my uh Windows uh explanation about Windows Windows 11 or Windows OS win and of course I have also the Mac OS and Linux OS and of course the Android the Android so basically so I'm teaching actually the computers uh, computer stuff with my kids maybe I gonna share this uh, PowerPoint next time if I have time uh, as you can see, this is the this is the the old stuff, you know. This is why I'm sticking up with my uh, Linux uh, OS because I could do anything about this, uh, edit it, like you know, just you know, just stuff, you know. Uh, I could always edit this one. So that's that's my PowerPoint presentation so how about if you want to to download stuff right here so this is the pop shop and of course there is a stream deck right here launcher but I didn't uh, install it uh, we also have a different uh, applic application right here uh, discord uh, we also have the main mine minecraft so basically this is what you to download your application so for example if you are trying to look for um, let me see how about try to download office just just type office oh oh yeah so office so as you can see, it will let you open this one. So LibreOffice, yep. Only Office, yep. Even WPS Office Suit, you have this one. I don't know if, oh yeah, 
I think we we have that way back then. So you have choices. You don't have to pay a lot just for your your applications, your executables or exe. Right here, it's just you're safe because you won't go to any third party website you just go to the official website or the official application for your shop then you shop with your apps so let me see how about twitter do we have twitter yes we have twitter client the club the clover yeah so that's let me see hmm. how about oh, of course we have the telegram right here so no problem with that one hmm. how about music of course just type music and then it will open you into the wide variety of application for your players of course there is VLC at the same time VLC the world famous VLC which is a native open source Linux application and and it cross over to Windows already how about let me see if I want to hmm, how about the card like the AutoCAD thing the oh yeah see you have the free card the or the libri card so no problem with that how about the email clients so we have the thunderbird or let's just type in email see you have all the things right here the Thunderbird of course the Thunderbird is so right here so it won't do I have Thunderbird right here nope I have scratch already so scratch is here hmm. let me see what should I download? How about, of course, games? You already have the Steam, so no problem with that one. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? Because if you are running Windows, we're basically like using uh, Office Suit and you also need oh yeah I remember for the image manipulation the image manipulation for the graphics you can also scroll down just click here on the different types of category right here I just click but of course the internet so slow <laughs> it won't reply as soon as possible because I think we are a lot right here uh, using the internet so you have the font editor right here yeah you have the blunder the 3d creator yeah I also use blender but in the other computer let me see different types of application right here you can scroll down whatever you want it is absolutely for free nothing to pay so why should I uh, go back to the proprietary uh, software you also have the Adobe right here so I'm good already you have the screen recorder for Linux this is for Wayland, yeah. Let me see. 
you have the document scanner which is I'm always using for document scanning with the scanner it's absolutely open source so you don't need to pay How about the if you want some editing s editor photo editor let's type photo editor photo editor let me see photo editor so as you can see we have a lot of photo editor right here so last paint for the very basic photo editing we have the raw and raspberry image the photo flow we also have the uh, photo editor which is the photo flare hey how about the GIMP the do I have GIMP oh yeah the GNOME GNOME image manipulator program or the GIMP GIMP so basically you have a lot right here so no problem with looking for a program that you are using but of course you have to learn a little bit just a little bit just like uh, when you learn the android phones because android is actually like linux so basically it's the same so continue with our program right here So as installed, you can just click installed and then you can see all your stuff right here on your pop shop. Of course, I have the office uh, suit, which is the LibreOffice. I have also the only office right here, the OBS for my recording of my desktop. But at the same time, I have also the screen recorder, which is also native right here, which is okay for me. Uh, we also have the uh, let me see the Vim <laughs> okay the Vim is here the computer program thing thing you know so basically I have all the stuff that I need into my daily uh, work right here on my uh, desktop which is this is the old computer that I have which is really really old <laughs> I think this is way back like 2014 ish maybe 2011 but I think this is 2014 2013 probably So let me know in the comments below if you want to know which uh, part of the laptop you want to see and of course I'll let you uh, make up your minds if what kind of tutorial that you need in my uh, in in trying to cross over to to the Linux world and Linux is not very dangerous because it is not really true where you're just you know listening to the crazy stuff that other people say ah Linux is terminal based computer it's just for computer programmers no it's not it's basically like even my students right now playing with my computer uh, the all my laptop uh, every time that I use it uh, they just play it because they aren't afraid of doing some stuff you know it's just uh, ordinary thing that 
you can always do whatever you want in your computer so that is why uh, the new generation probably the new generation will be uh, adapting to this uh, Linux because they already know that Linux is powering their uh, smartphones powering their internet connections powering their uh, web servers right now it's uh, powering the desktop computers and laptops at the same time maybe in year 2035 something or maybe 2025 25 or 35 uh, probably uh, our our OS probably will migrate into cloud base but not li literally all but probably it will be the last operating system for the desktop which is Linux which is also the base of our Android phones so I think the Linux will be the last operating system that will will be on the desktop and at the same time tablets are using current uh, Linux kernel at the same time so I think Linux will be the majority of the operating system in way in the future in the way way forward future uh, that's gonna be probably 2025 to 2035 something like that probably it will start like that so that's about it for now for our science school and of course uh, it was a really long talk I think I have I think I, I created the one hour uh, uh, talk but of course this is multiple camera set up so I'll be using uh, three angles like that one this one and that one so that's it for now for our science school my name is Blair your science teacher in science a school catch her in our episode next time as we talk about maybe general science uh, biology which is a study of, of the life or or maybe I could uh, touch a little bit of history, which is geographics, uh, and also probably science uh, in the field of chemistry and physics at the same time. So that's it for me for my science school today. Uh, the looking to this so-called Linux, it is not dangerous. Okay, so see you next time. Bye for now, and see you in the next episode. Bye.